Hello and welcome to Read by Robin. Today we're reading The Best Adventure featuring Casey and Camus from the fantastic world of Lisa Frank. I just want to start to say that uh, this is not a book you can easily obtain. I don't know if you can find it on Amazon because it is an older book. They don't still print it, so it is a collector's item. So this is something for my personal collection. So let's get started here. They were gold like the sun, and like the sun, they rose early each day in the desert. Their names were Casey and Camus, and they were brothers. Today they had greeted the morning the same way they always did. Camus was racing around, looking for fun. And where was Casey? He had gone back to sleep. Camus took a running leap and landed on top of his big brother. Wake up, Casey, he said. Let's go chase the ball. Casey opened one eye and smiled sleepily. Hello, Camus. Fine day for a nap, isn't it? Camus doesn't seem to think so. Camus hopped up and down on his brother, trying to get him to play. When that didn't work, he jumped off and found the ball. Batting it with his paw, he sent it bouncing right past Casey's nose. The nose twitched. Then Casey stood up. Yawning, he moved ever so slowly toward the ball. That's it, cried Camus. Now we're having fun. Casey reached the ball and kept right on going. Casey moved along inch by inch, sniffing the ground. Finally, he came to a beat up old bone with teeth marks all over it. My favorite bone, he said. I've been wondering where this was. He settled back to the ground and began gnawing contentedly on the bone. Soon he was sound asleep again. Camus didn't want to sleep. He wanted adventure. He didn't know where to find it, but surely it couldn't be far away. Leaping over his brother, Camus went running off across the desert in search of adventure. He ran and ran until he came to a field. Stretched out before him were wildflowers in every color of the rainbow. Camus went bounding through the field. It was like being on top of a grand quilt. He found flowers of red, yellow, pink, and purple. But as hard as he looked, he could not find adventure. Just then, a tiny yellow creature darted through the air and landed on a blossom nearby. Camus lunged for it, but the creature was off, zipping from flower to flower. Camus was about to catch up when the creature turned around suddenly and landed on his nose. Camus found himself staring cross-eyed at a bee. Startled, he lost his balance and the bee buzzed off toward the clouds. Still determined to find adventure, Camus leapt to his feet and raced up a hill. Near the top, he saw a man outlined against the sun. The man seemed to be waving. Camus, who loved people, ran to the man and jumped up for a hug. But what he got wasn't a hug. It was a nose full of meals. The man was a cactus. Camus was tired and his nose hurt. Suddenly, he didn't want to find adventure. All he wanted was to go home. When Camus got home, Casey saw what was wrong. Gently, carefully, he pulled out the needles. When Casey finished, Camus thanked his brother and nestled up against him. Casey said, that's what being friends is about, helping each other. And you know, even though we're brothers, you're also my best friend. Then Casey asked Camus where he had been, and Camus shook his head sadly. I went looking for adventure, he said, but I didn't find it. Camus told his brother about the wildflowers and the bee and the cactus. As Camus spoke, a funny thing happened. His voice perked up and his tail began to wag. Listening to himself, Camus suddenly realized he had been wrong. You know what, he told Casey, I think I had an adventure after all. In fact, I had a day full of them. Casey smiled. Those sound like good adventures, he said. But if you ask me, there's something else that's better. It's the best adventure of them all. What is it? asked Camus. Friendship, Casey replied, and a nap every once in a while. 
Casey kissed his little brother, and together they watched the sun set over the desert. Camus thought about tomorrow and wondered what new adventures it would bring in. And that's the end of The Best Adventure featuring Casey and Camus. Once again, this is a Lisa Frank collector's item. It's hard to get hold of, so don't be sad if you can't find your own copy. You can always read it here again with me. If you like this video or like this book, you can subscribe to the channel, like the video, or comment below. And I thank you again for reading along with Red by Robin.